My name is uh, Dr Les Tumulty. I'm responsible for, uh, amongst other things, providing teaching and learning support to uh, the undergraduates. I'm also coordinator for our brand new master's course in exercise and health research. We have two main research themes. There's the sport and performance theme and there's the physical activity and, and uh, health, uh, ageing and rehabilitation. Uh, there is a bit of overlap between the two. There's a, a, a large focus on, on building employable and, and transferable skills, physiology, biomechanics uh, or psychology, while keeping a sort of core focus on transferable and, and career related skills in the, in the core modules. We teach our students uh, advanced laboratory techniques, advanced exercise testing methods, using advanced equipment, uh, blood and saliva analysis, um, as well as giving students the opportunity to, for example, um, take part in work experience. There's uh, several reasons why uh, this is a, an attractive place for uh, people to come and study our Masters. Uh, for one thing, in 2012 we were voted uh, highest for um, student satisfaction in the UK. Um, as you can see, we've got absolutely um, excellent state-of-the-art research facilities, for example, an environmental chamber, uh, which allows us to uh, control uh, heat and humidity and allows us to look at the physiological responses uh, uh, under different environmental conditions during exercise. Online breath-by-breath -breath systems, which uh, allow the students to um, uh, look in high resolution at um, expired gas data during exercise, a biomechanics lab, with the, uh, which allows us to um, uh, an analyse kinematically uh, different activities and look at the, the, the forces that act on the body during, uh, during different activities. So we really are lucky in that we do have lots of space but also lots of state-of-the-art equipment as well. Uh, the reputation of staff in the department uh, for producing high-quality research is also, uh, also very good. The entry requirements are a, a, a good honours degree, uh, ideally a, a 2-1, although uh, we, we do treat every, uh, every, individual, in, in every individual case on a, a sort of one-to-one -one basis. The advice that I would give to pros uh, prospective applicants would be to get in touch with us. If they're at all interested or think they might be interested in finding out a bit more about the course, uh, drop us an email. Uh, you can drop me personally an, an email or uh, get in touch with us, with, with us at the department and we can, we can discuss it further.